Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, I want to talk about what's going on in the game today in Racial Legends. Alright, so this morning, Playroom put out some announcement, and I think this is about the new patch. We're gonna have two new Tron skins. Well, they have been in the game for a couple weeks now, and they finally are gonna make players able to get them. The epic one is gonna be from Pass of Light, which is the new event. And the legendary one is gonna be in the shop for $35 US. I think that's completely not worth it, alright? Don't spend $35 for a Trona skin. Alright, so for the new event pass of light, I think um I think Playroom put out a video talking about this before. And I thought that's gonna be a brand new type of system. And then today I log on and realized this is just another event. So personally, I feel this is a huge letdown for me. So like because when I open this, what's the difference between this and an event? Alright? You can basically say this is just a dungeon driver event and up uh, artifact event combined together, right? So I feel like, what's the meaning of this? Like obviously you can say, oh, they increase the reward. Like why don't they just <laughs> make the reward better for the regular event, right? So I feel like it's just really weird they put out a pass of light. This is just. There's no difference compared to Dungeon Driver or Artifact Enhancement, right? And today I did some simple math about how many points you need to fully unlock all of them, alright? So let me just go through this with you guys. Alright, so we have three different paths, right? And uh, I think this one, the, the first one, the third one is around 18,000 points and the middle one is 21,000 points, alright? So, and if we take a look at how many points it gives me, uh, let me just click it. Alright, uh, let's not worry about the artifact down driver event. Alright, let's just take a look at um, the artifact upgrade event here. So it's a rank six. If you get it to sixteen, you can get all these combined. It's nine hundred sixty points. W what do you call it? Alright, this is called. Light coins, all right. So you get 906, 960 light coins by fully maxed a rank six artifact. And uh, I think personally, the most valuable tree is the third one. It gives a void shard. So I think let me pull out a calculator here. All right. So the the third tree is around eight um eighteen thousand. So it requires you to fully max around 19 artifacts and if we are talking about 6 star artifacts I think the price of maxing a 6 star artifacts is around 2 million to 3 million right let's just say it's 2 million and uh, 2 times 19 is gonna be 38 million you're gonna spend to just fully max this tree the third line here and uh, I think down the road you can get another event key and you can unlock the the other tree so in total I think it's gonna be um sorry 18 so it's gonna require around 57,000 event points to just unlock everything all right so you will require to uh, rank up Around six, 60, 60 rank six artifacts. All right, let's just say 60, and you spend two two million, and it will take you around 120 million silvers to get everything. And I, I think two million per artifact, it's very, it's a very conservative estimation. All right, I think it, it might be more than that. All right, sometimes you you it takes you more than three millions to just uh get a 6 star artifact to max so is it worth for uh, for you to spend 120 million silver to get all these? the answer is no um, just personally I think like all the chickens it, it's, it's terrible like 9600 light coins for a 5 star chicken that's completely not worth it alright even you're a beginner, you just start a game, I think it's it's completely not worth it, a 5-star chicken. You can literally spend your resource elsewhere, alright? 
Uh, I think the only tree that is worth is the third one here. It's a Void Shard. I think the price is still not that impressive, alright? But it's a Void Shard, alright? And the first tree and the second tree, it's just bad. I think for the for the first tree, uh, it, I'll, I'll probably stop right here. Alright, right here. I get a 5 uh, core hammer and I'll stop right here. All the chickens are irrelevant. Alright. Um, and uh, for the middle tree, I think this is the longest tree. It took you 21,000 light coins. And I think the books, it's just really not worth the effort. Even, even, like, even if I think about the legendary book, I, I just feel like as a normal player, it's really not worth your silver. I right, just for one legendary book, and for the middle row, I'll probably just stop right here to get the energy. All right, and the last one is obviously the best. You get um, full shot. So yeah, I guess player said they're gonna um, you're gonna play this event to get some uh, Tron the skin fragment, right? Something like that. I'm not sure. Like I don't really care about Tron the skin. All right. Like one thing a lot of people are speculating is maybe this weekend they're gonna put out a guaranteed Tron event because why would they, why would they just put out a Tron skin event when Tron is a legendary champion? It's not a fusion. It's not a guaranteed champion, right? How how people are gonna get her, right? Uh, so a lot of people are speculating that we might gonna see a Tron guarantee event. I think that's gonna be pretty cool, but like, I don't know. Uh. I think it's a good thing for the player base if they put out a if they put out a guaranteed Tronda event. But I feel like if they actually did that, that means they're really having a very bad financial situation. Alright? They need they just keep milking the player nonstop for the past two months. So yeah, uh obviously as a player, I hope they do it. I want to I want another Tronda copy, alright? But honestly, like I, just, I don't really care about these skins, alright? And by the way, if you guys want my honest opinion, I don't think Trona is the best nuke in the game, alright? For Arena, I don't think Trona is the best. Uh, there are just so many champions that are better than Trona. Not in terms of raw damage, like in terms of raw damage dealing, Trona is still the best. But I think in terms of overall usefulness in Arena, I think number one is gonna be Leoris. Uh, number two is gonna be Kendra Fong, and uh, number three is gonna be Tronda and Solus. I think these two are pretty close. And other than that, there are a lot of bomb champions. All right, bomb champions are really, really popular nowadays. The AOE bomb or single target bomb doesn't matter. If it's single target bomb, you just pair with a Vizier, and it works the same. So, yeah, uh, I hope they do a guaranteed Tronda soon, if not this week. Otherwise, I don't see any reason they put out events to give people from the skin, right? So yeah. Anyways, what do you guys think? Oh, uh, honestly, I think I think the the new event, uh, Pass of Light. To me, it's a letdown because I don't see any difference compared to a normal event other than the increased reward because they can just add increased reward to to old event, right? So, like I thought this is gonna be like a like a like a new system, so. It's really disappointing for me to see it's just another event in the game. Yeah, so let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!